If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over my most feared prediction, the kind of the players I think you could be expecting. I'll lay out the format for you guys, how they're going to probably do it, what I expect. Now, it's not going to be a what to expect in terms of me going over the sets how it goes down. I'm just going to be predicting players I could see, and then we'll follow up with the what to expect as you do get closer, of course, and they do announce the actual date. Now, in terms of when do I expect to see it, though, it's already the 7th. Uh, promos at the latest start mid-month. Like, the latest we saw promos last year was, like, the 17th, right? 17th through the 20th was the latest we saw promo start, and that was because they were kind of delayed last year. I hope they're more on track this year. They've seemed to be a little bit more on track as of recently, so I'm hoping we get this promo sometime next week at the earliest. Well, the earliest probably later this week, but you guys get the point moving on go uh, for the poodle squad today guys if you do want a chance to be shouted out make sure you do go down below hit that like button turn that on to bell boys come join the family comment down below poodle squad of course as per usual and make sure you are subscribed and for the poodle squad shout out today guys we got hey krug shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad greatly appreciate you coming into these videos commenting down below and watching them and showing support and then guys Again, if you need any coins for today's drop of the Rising Stars, you want to start picking up some coins and training for when most feared comes or anything, head over to my reserve down below. Take advantage of discounted coins, training, and players. Use code Poodle for 15% off. Now, let's head over to the screenshots and show you guys all the cards I think we can be seeing in most feared. Starting with the first one I think we can see is Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis, not even, I don't even think, I just know. We get Ray Lewis every year for most feared. One of the most feared players in the history of the NFL, at least in the more modern era. Um... We, we, we have to get a Ray Lewis, right? Ray Lewis always, always, always gets a card. He hasn't gotten a legend yet. Most feared makes sense. It'll probably be similar in the 93 overall category, maybe even 94. Now, Ray Lewis, again, what can you expect from a Ray Lewis card to keep the short and sweet? Now, guys, I'm not going to say if he's going to be a master or if he's going to be players. I think most of these cards, I say, will get a card for a fact. Like, for sure, a lot of them will. I just don't know if they'll be masters, if they'll be heroes, or if they'll be LTDs. Now, quickly, last year's format, we had two masters. We had eight heroes, and we had three LTDs, which were Calais Campbell, Le'Veon Bell, and I believe the last one was Dante Hall. Those were the three. We had, we had Scary Strong, Scary Sharp, and Scary Fast. Pretty sure that was last year's stuff, but let's get into this. So Ray Lewis, first card here. Again, I will give you for him. I think he'll be a hero. I don't think he'll be, I mean, I'm sorry, a master. I don't think he'll be a hero. Master LTD. It's Ray Lewis. He's going to be one of the top pieces of this. Uh, a Ray Lewis card will be great at stopping the run, laying the boom, and be up there for the speed. He will actually be the fastest linebacker, but he'll be up there as one of the faster ones. He's gonna be great block shed, great guy. You don't have to use him. He's gonna be a guy you probably wanna leave alone and let him get work because he will shut the run down. Moving on, we're gonna get Aaron Donald. Now, Aaron Donald, gonna either get, like, he's gotten a Night Guardian, I think, before. He's gotten LTDs, he's gotten Mudhier LTDs now. We haven't gotten an Aaron Donald upgrade yet, and it only seems right that we get it here. He is one of the most feared players in the NFL, as you guys do already know. So I'm hoping. We see him now. He'll probably, again, he's going to be probably an LTD or a master. I don't see him being a hero. Um, he would have, he shut, you guys, Aaron Donald, you know, the second upgrade is crazy. He maxes out block shed. He ends up being a great run stuffer, a great pass rusher, and his athleticism usually starts getting an 80, like 77 to 80 speed powered up kind of area, which is when he becomes super, super elite. His power move is going to be crazy. Next round is going to be really, really good. So hopefully we do end up seeing him. Khalil Mack as well. Him and Aaron Donald are always tied to these most fear type stuff. Now, I think if we get Mack, we don't see Donald or vice versa. Probably what that's going to end up being like as his elite pass rushers for the promo. Uh, Mack again. The next Mack's going to be crazy. He hasn't gotten an upgrade yet either, which is kind of unreal. He will have like an 84 speed, which is going to put him like in Lawrence Taylor S territory after you power him up, as well as he's going to have crazy block shed and his power moves going to end up being in the 90s. So he's going to be again like a Lawrence Taylor, Aaron Donald build. Super athletic, going to be crazy good. Alvin Kamara, he's having an insane start to the NFL season. Like he usually does, seems to have a crazy first four or five games. Not that he doesn't, not that he slows down later on, but the last few years, or last two, I believe, he's had a crazy first four games, either way. But Alvin Kamara, his card would probably end up being, I don't know, like if they do a scary quick, because he's not, he's not scary fast. He's not the fastest guy in the field, but he's super elusive and quick. That's what makes him look so fast, but that top end speed isn't there, which is why I don't think he'd be scary fast. His card, though, would probably end up being a 92 overall, probably like a hero 91 overall. He probably ends up getting an 89 speed, which, again, would be usable. Not to say it's going to be the greatest, but 89 speed, 90 speed. He'll end up having crazy good agility, like probably like a 90-something agility, probably crazy good excel. Like, probably ends up having like a 92, 93 excel, just lower speed. Great break tackle. He's going to have a great step arm, great change of direction. And his catching probably ends up in the 70s for route running and catching as well in the mid-70s. And his trucking and everything, everything's going to be well-rounded. A Kamara card's always well-rounded. 
Next, we got Mahomes. Now, Mahomes, we have not seen a Mahomes upgrade yet besides the plus one to his power up. He's gotten a Thanksgiving card two years ago. He got a Christmas card last year. He has not been a part of the most feared promo. And obviously, Patrick Mahomes is probably the most feared player in the NFL. When he has the ball in his hand, you're, you're terrified. You could be down 20, you could be up 20 and still be scared of this guy. Mahomes upgrade would be unreal. Probably gets a 93 or 92 overall. He ends up with like a, probably a 77 speed, plus being powered up, 78 speed. Won't probably get the escape artist threshold just yet. The Excel ends up in the 80 overall, so does the uh, agility. His throw power probably ends up being a 93. I wonder if he could be scary strong for how strong his arm is. I wonder if it works in that sense. I don't I don't think it does, but it would be cool if they implemented it like that. Um, his throw probably like a 93, which means powered up and chemed up gonna be like a 97, just like Vic. His short accuracy ends up being like a 92, medium ends up being like a 90, his throw on the run ends up being a 90, play action being a 90, and throw under pressure being a 90. Deep accuracy ends up only being like an 88, but again, powered up and chemed up, you do get that all but 90. So he'll hit every passing threshold, he'll hit the throw power threshold, everything will be in the 90s, plus he's decently fast. He ends up being like a Dan Marino with speed, but better actually in terms of uh, who would you rather have. Next, we got Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill, again, I, I'm going to have a few Chiefs on here because I know one of them will get them. I, I don't think all three will get them, but I know one will, so I didn't want to play guess here. Tyree Kill. Next Tyree Kill upgrade, all you got to know is he'll have like a 93, probably 94 speed. Let's go with 94 speed. He probably ends up with a 94 speed plus power up. Uh, yeah, probably 94 with power up. So he ends up with a 94 speed, ends up with great excel, great agility. Ends up with a crazy good deep route running. And his release probably nears more of an 85. And again, his catching and everything else is going to be like mid-high 80s. So pretty much he's going to become a faster version of what he is now. And a better after the catch guy. Next, Derek Henry. We know I, I'm almost positive we're seeing a Henry as one of the backs if we don't get uh, Kamara. Now, Henry is going to be really, really good as well. He probably ends up getting, I'd say, 89 speed as well. 89 or 90 speed, which I don't think, again, is going to be like Kamara where it's not crazy fast. But the big difference is his break tackle is going to be above a 90. His stiff arm is going to be like a 94, 95, which is crazy. His truck will be like a 90. And his juke and everything will end up reaching like the low mid 80s. His carrying will end up pushing towards a 90. I think it ends up just being some crazy power back with maybe average speed. Maybe. Next, we got Kelsey. Travis Kelsey, I think, again, I was going to put Kittle to not overdo the Chiefs. But Kittle has a plus one. Kelsey doesn't. And Kelsey's balling to start the year as well. Kelsey... The issue with Kelsey is kind of slow. I think a most feared card of him only gets like an 83 speed, 84 speed max. So again, doesn't like surpass Jimmy or anyone else. But his catch and traffic and spec pushes past 90. His short pushes past 90. I just think that his medium and deep are too low. His catch is past 90. And his run blocking is probably going to be one of the more appealing things he has in comparison. Although it's only a 67 run block, which is kind of sad. Ends up probably being a low mid 70. I don't think this card ends up being great, personally. The way they built Kelsey this year, unless they just completely juice the stats because they want to, based on typical upgrades, I don't see him being fast enough, a good enough route runner, or good enough anything to really be useful. But still, next, Takeo Spikes. Now, if you guys played the older Maddens, like Madden 13, Madden 25 in that area, Takeo Spikes was a most feared staple at some point. Um, I think he could get it. 6'2", 242. Obviously, will it be a second linebacker? Maybe they replace Lewis with Takeo Spikes. Takeo Spikes would be awesome. We know he has. we have the rights as he was in uh, uh, Team Diamonds. He would end up with like an 86, 87 speed, which would be great. Plus, you could power him up. He ends up with crazy good strength, play rec above a 90, great jumping. Block show will probably push like an 87, 88. So, hopefully, that hits a 90 threshold to stop the run. Pursuit ends up in the 90, so does tackle and so does hit power. So, he'll be one of the hardest hitters in the field, one of the best tacklers, one of the best block shutters, and crazy girl, great speed for, for Tequila Spikes. Only issue is going to be he didn't have no zone, probably. So, you're going to have to probably user him, and that's where it comes down to would you want to use him or not. It really just depends. But having that hit power and that tackle and everything could be great. It's going to be tough. Or if it's like a Ray Lewis, you just leave him alone. Let him stop the run. You handle the user of someone else. Now, Raheem Mostert, I thought he was going to get a card team of the week. He did not. I think they're saving him for most fear. Again, if you see Raheem Mostert play, you know every time he touches the ball, and he, if he reaches the edge and turns up field, he could take that 80 yards. He's scary fast, which is what I think he'll get. He probably ends up with like a 91 speed at running back. If he gets an 81, so like a 90 overall card, or even like a low piece 87, probably ends up getting like a 91 speed. Going to be first off and foremost. Is the 90 speed or 90, if it's even a 90 speed, he's one of these, probably the best budget back in Madden 21. If he gets a 91 or 92 speed, he's in competition for one of the glitchy backs that like may not be the best back in the game, but in terms of speed, you can use him like that. Uh, I think he ends up getting great agility. He ends up getting great acceleration, of course, and decent juke can change the direction. He's more of a straight line runner which is why I think he'd be more of a budget piece kind of type of guy. Then we got Henry Ruggs. I think Ruggs has to get it. He's not a rookie premier, so we know they're not going to screw him. Henry Ruggs would be awesome. He'd have an 89 speed base already. So he's probably going to get like a plus 10. Maybe he'd be like an 85 overall. Maybe he'll be the LTD. So if he gets up an 85 overall to even the LTD, his range of outcomes is a 94 speed, 
94 95 speed which is crazy and potentially if he gets the ltd guys his catching could be like high 80s his route his he can probably get like a 90 deep route running high 80 medium and short and high 80 catching if he ends up being an 85 only i think he ends up with just a 93 or 94 speed with just all 80 stats which is going to be like a tyree kill but kind of fun because it's, it's rugs to tyree kill and that's how i see that going now here this is a wild card here randy moss obviously is going to be in the game we haven't seen him yet but we saw Dion and vic which are his counterparts the other guys we like to get He's been most feared before, as you guys see here. This was him back in Madden 18. This is around the range of outcomes you could probably see for Randy Moss. 94 speed, 93 excel, 91 agility. Although I think it'd be more of a 93 speed because it's going to be one overall less probably. 95 jumping, 90 awareness, 93 catch, 88 catch and traffic, 95 spec, 93 route running, and 94 release. Guys, if he ends up getting this card right here with 91 juke and spin, going to be game changing, game breaking. I don't know if I want to see a card this great. It'll be fun, but again... It will be crazy overpowered. Now, for my honorable mentions, guys, Cam Chancellor, Derek Thomas. Now, Bam Cam, if we can get him, that'd be awesome. I don't know if they have the right yet. I mean, it remains to be seen, but I think he'd be awesome to be in there as well. And, of course, Derek Thomas, tribute to him. Would be awesome to see him back in the game. He was one of the most feared players as well. So, here's my list, guys. We, got, we, we have a lot of people here. A lot of people, but again, this is a big promo. Typically, if we have two Masters, eight Heroes, and three LTDs, that ends up being around 13, 14 players. So... Right around that as well. And of course, we could see some more. And we have some low players, which I throw in there, which is like a Rugs and a Monster, maybe even a Tequila Spikes. Uh, but that's about it for that video, guys. Pretty much covers everything. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to the Poodle Squad again today. If you guys want a chance to shout it out, like, turn on the Noti Bell, and be subscribed as well. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. And that's about it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. You need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve. Use code Poodle for 15% off. I'm out. Peace.